So, do you want to get started with recording horn? Well, let me show you just how cheap it can be. It can be from a price range of $21 to $170. I'm about to blow your mind with this guy. And first of all, let me explain the difference between this guy and this guy. So, this microphone right here is an Audio Technica AT2020 used for recording voice and singers and all those things. This is a cardioid condenser microphone, which means it picks up about 90 degrees of sound in front of it. Meanwhile, you have this dynamic microphone, which picks up a direct signal for what's in front of it, and you have a lot more leeway for gain, which is how much or how little of amplitude you're getting out of this guy. So this is the PD Mic 78, set you back 15 bucks. And I'll explain to you what all comes with that. What you get with the PD Mic 78 is a quarter inch to XLR cable. Now, first of all, what is XLR? Basically, this is gonna give you ground connection to your microphone and the output is the quarter inch. So you're thinking, what's the use of a quarter inch? Well, to be honest, unless you're plugging it into a preamp, not really gonna have too much use of a quarter inch, uh, most cases. So you'll probably wanna pick up an adapter for this thing. If you're running on El Cheapo mode, and this is a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter jack, which can either plug straight into your computer, into a sound card, or into some kind of interface that you're using. But now that we're talking cables, let me introduce to you two more types of cables you can use. So this right here is an XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. You can use this, go plug and play to your sound card, computer, or interface, and you're good to go. Now let me introduce to you the most standard type of cable. All right, here it is, folks. If you're gonna use a preamp, if you're gonna use a mixer, this is what you need. You need an XLR female to male cable. Uh, female, flat, male, prongs, boom. You get it, science. Now, with all that being said, what can you do with these cables? How do you get the cheapest possible option for your budget? Using this thing to record for horn is awesome, and I'm about to show you how you can make it for the cheapest or most stable budget. So, the cheapest option, period. You get the microphone, you get the quarter inch cable that comes with the microphone, and then you buy this little adapter if you don't have anything to plug the quarter inch into, which I would assume probably not. But what if my computer doesn't have the little thing where I can plug a microphone into, the little red thing? Don't worry, you can get a sound card for that that lets you plug it in. I'll link that down below in the description. And you're pretty much set to go. But wait, I don't have a microphone stand. This thing, I can only prop it up to this angle and get this kind of sound. Don't worry. There's microphone stands of two different types that will get your job done. So here's that little sound card I was talking about. Just plug that into your computer, you're set. So this is one of the microphone stands that I have and I use for recording my horn because I have a desk and I'm able to mount it straight onto the desk. It gives you a good range of motion and uh, this is pretty reliable. Uh, so I use this little desk mount here, but let's say you don't have a desk or anything to mount that onto, don't worry because you can get this kind of mic stand that's like a tripod and it links straight down. You can angle it to your liking, get it by the bell, and you're good to go. Considering that, your cheapest solution is to get a mic, a quarter inch adapter. If you need one, you can get a USB sound card. And if you need one of those two stands, you can get that. That'll probably set you back somewhere in between $21 and $55, depending on what you get. So for this alternate setup, you get the microphone, XLR to 3.5, and if you happen to have a headphone extension cable lying around like I did, great, but if you don't, I'll leave a link in the description for that too. Uh, but what I did was I got this little 3.5 millimeter cable to this, which works great, and I just plug this into the little headphone adapter, and then I plug that into my interface, and I'm good to go. And yet again, you can buy one of these stands, and there you go. That'll set you back in between $24 and $55. I found that this method, for me personally, is a lot better than using the quarter inch method because using the 3.5 millimeter cable extension thing and this XLR cable has been much better because it records in stereo, whereas the signal from the quarter inch to the 3.5 millimeter adapter is not as stable and it only goes to the left channel so 
If you want the easy way out, just do this. Now you're asking, okay, what if I want something like a preamp? What does that do? So basically what a preamp is, is it allows you to control the gain of your microphone and it's able to bypass the signal from your microphone onto your computer and is much more secure. But with something like a preamp, you're gonna need an XLR to XLR cable. But if you're able to work and manage with that, that is totally fine. I have the Focusrite Scarlett Solo as an option, or you can use this PreSonus, which is about $99.95. Pretty good because it comes with two. If you have two microphones and two XLR cables, that's totally cool also. Preamp setup, you're gonna get the mic, the XLR cable, and you can get either the PreSonus or Scarlett, and of course the stand if you need one. Uh, if you're not able to DIY, and that'll set you back between $121 and $150. But let's say you want more control than just a preamp. I've got you covered because you can control literally everything with what's called a mixer. So here I've provided two options for mixers. One of them is a Behringer ZNX 802, which comes with two preamps, and you can control the high, mid, and low frequencies of your microphone, giving you even more control of your microphone at 83 bucks. And you can also control the gain of your microphone and you can even pan the signal left or right so when you're recording on your track it goes to either the left speaker or the right speaker, which is pretty cool. Another reliable mixer is the Yamaha MG06X, which is pretty awesome because it comes with built-in effects also. So if you want to create some artificial reverb with your recording or you want to have some extra processing within the mixer, you can totally do that. Now if you're looking at the mixer setup, we've got the mic, we've got the XLR to XLR cable. You can either get the Behringer or Yamaha and you can get a stand and that'll set you back between $105 and $170. And now that you have all the recording gear, what do you do next? You get a digital audio workstation or DAW. There's a free one that's called Audacity, which is like so. You open it up and you literally press R on your keyboard and it starts recording to your other microphone. And you can set the gain of the microphone on here using the recording volume button. And you can press spacebar to play back your audio. And it starts recording to your other microphone. And it's good to go. So. Hopefully that helps. It's a very simple process. If you want to do multi-track recording, you just press R again. Multi-track recording, hello. And then boom. It's very easy. You just press spacebar to, to pause the recording or stop the recording. And uh, you can click around. You can go back and record another track from where you left off. It's very, very simple and easy to use. So a lot of this comes to personal preference and what you think you want. If you want the most control out of your microphone, you should totally get a mixer. If you want something that's more reliable than plugging in a quarter inch cable to your computer, you should probably go for a preamp because you can plug that USB right into your computer and have a stable XLR to XLR ground connection, which is pretty great. And you can also control the gain of the microphone that way and also on your computer. So you get two levels of gain control. And if you're on the super tight budget, just get the quarter inch to 3.5 adapter and plug that into your computer or get that extra sound card and you're pretty much set to go. I hope all of this helps. I'm sorry, I was just talking pretty fast through this whole thing. If you have any questions, please leave them below and leave some feedback. I'd love to hear from you guys and stay safe during this quarantine.